This is Mrs. Appiah with Lesson 13, Populations, Samples, Generalizing from a Sample to a Population. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students differentiate between a population and a sample. Students differentiate between a population characteristic and a st sample statistic. Students investigate statistical questions that involve generalizing from a sample to a larger population. This lesson focuses on using data to answer a statistical question. A statistical question is one that can be answered by collecting data and where there will be variability in the data. Pause the video and copy the essential question. What is the difference between a sample and a population? In this lesson, you will learn about collecting data from a sample that is selected from a population. You will also learn about summary values for both a population and a sample, and think about what can be learned about the population by looking at a sample from that population. Exercises 1 through 4. Describe what you would do if you had to collect data to investigate the following statistical questions using either a sample statistic or a population characteristic. Explain your reasoning in each case. Question A. How might you collect data to answer the question, does the soup taste good? You might taste a, a teaspoon of soup to check the seasoning. You could ask students in the cafeteria who ate the soup. Question B. How might you collect data to answer the question, how many movies do students in your class see a month? You could ask students to write down how many movies they have seen that month and collect their responses. Question C. How might you collect data to answer the question, what is the median price of home in your town? Think about that. You could find the price of homes listed in the newspaper and use that data to estimate the median price. Another option is to go to a realty office and get prices for the homes they have listed for sale. D. How might you collect data to answer the question, how many pets do people own in my neighborhood? Students living in urban areas with high-rise apartment buildings might ask for some people on each floor of the building. Unless it's not a pet-friendly building, or people as they go to work in the morning. Those living in suburban or rural areas might go door to door and ask their neighbors. E. How might you collect data to answer the question, what is the typical number of absences in math classes at your school on a given day? You would ask each math teacher how many students were absent in each of his or her math classes for a given day. How might you collect data to answer the question, what is the typical lifespan of a particular band, brand of flashlight battery? Put some batteries in flashlights and time how long they last. G. How might you collect data to answer the question, what percentage of girls and boys in your school have a curfew? How can you collect data to find that out? You could ask all students if they have a curfew. If your school population is too large to ask everyone, you could select a random sam sample from the student directory. How might you collect data to answer the question, what is the most common blood type of students in my class? So ask yourself, do you know your blood type? Do you think your classmates will know their blood type? Is this something that you should ask them or ask somebody else? You could look at medical data for each student that might be found from the nurse. Let's go over some vocabulary that we'll be using in this unit. A population is defined as the entire set of objects. It might be people or animals or plants, etc., from which data might be collected. The key word is the entire set. Pause the video and copy the vocabulary. A sample. A sample is a subset of the population. It is smaller than the population. It is part of the population. Population characteristics. They are a numerical summary of values calculated using data from the entire population. 
So it basically it is data about the entire population. Statistics. That's a numerical summary, values calculated using data from a sample. Let's check for understanding. Categorize the following as either a population or a sample. A pot of soup and a teaspoon of soup, which is the population and which is the sample? The pot of soup would be the population. The teaspoon is a subset of the pot of soup, so it would be a sample. Then we have a group of batteries put in flashlights and timed to determine how long they last. And all batteries of a certain brand, which is the population, which is the sample. Remember that the population is the larger group. So the batteries of a certain brand, that's your population. The group of batteries that you test would be the sample. Question two, for which of the scenarios in exercise one did you describe collecting data from a population and which from a sample? So we talked about the soup taste and we wanna know is the soup taste, was that from a population or was that from a sample? Since you only had a taste of the soup and you didn't eat the whole bowl, that would be a sample because it's a subset of the population. The number of pets. We talked about the neighborhood, but you didn't ask everybody in the neighborhood, so that's a sample. The battery life. We tested a particular brand of flashlights, not every flashlight. So battery life is sample. The medium home cost. We looked in the newspaper and we compared it to the sale of some houses, but not all houses. So that's a sample. The blood type question was about every student in your class, and you got the data from the students in your class. So that's the whole population. The movies, we wanted data about the students in your class, and we asked the whole class. That's the population. And we wanted to know about the absent people from math, and again, that was from the whole class. So that's a population question. Number three, think about collecting data in the scenarios above. Give at least two reasons you might want to collect data from a sample rather than from an entire population. Well, why would you ask a small group of people instead of everybody? In some cases, a sample can give you all of the information you need. Sometimes it's too hard to collect the data for an entire population. It might cost too much or take too long to ask everyone in the population. Question four, make up a result you might get in response to the situations in exercise one and identify whether the result would be based on a population characteristic or a sample statistic. Recall that a population characteristic is data about the whole population, the whole group, and a sample statistic is data taken from a small part of the population. A, does the soup taste good? I, for my results, said no, it needs more salt. This is a sample statistic. You tasted the soup, you didn't eat the whole pot full. Question B, how many movies do your classmates say in a month? So is the answer from the whole population of your class or from one student or a few students? So a result that you might receive would be three movies. And this is a population characteristic because the mean number of movies was derived from a population from the whole class, not from a sample of a few students. What is the median price of a home in our town? A sample response might be $150,000. This is a sample statistic because it's derived from a sample, which such as the data from one realtor's list of a house of homes sold. Question D, how many pets do people in my neighborhood own? Did you ask everybody or did you ask certain households? A sample response might be two pets. This is a sample statistic if you polled certain houses. 
However, it would be a population characteristic if you asked every household. Question E. What is the typical number of absences in your math class and in your school in a given day? A typical response might be six. This would be a population characteristics because the data is from all math classes, not certain math classes. F. What is the typical lifespan of a particular brand of flashlight batteries? A typical response might be 54. This is a sample statistic because we were talking about a certain brand of batteries, not all batteries. Question G. What percentage of girls and boys in your school have a curfew? A typical response might be 65% of the boys and 72% of the girls have a curfew. This is either a population characteristic or a sample statistic, dependent on the method of collecting data. So if you asked every person in your school, which would it be? It would be a population characteristic. If you only asked certain groups of students, then it would be a sample statistic. H. What is the most common blood type of my classmates? A sample answer might be O positive. The class is the population, so this is a population characteristic. Just a side note, if the question was common blood type of Abbott Middle School, then the class would be a sample, and it would be a sample statistic. Exercise 5. Indicate whether the following statements are summarizing data collected to answer a statistical question from a population or from a sample. Identify references in the statement as population characteristics or sample statistics. Question A. 54% of the responders to a poll at a university indicate that wealth needed to be distributed more evenly among people. And we want to know the reference, in other words, who was asked, and then is that a population or a sample, making it a statistical question or a population characteristic. The reference is the responders. This is a sample or a subset of the university students. And since it is a sample, then your data is a sample statistic. Question B. Are students in the Bay Shore School District proficient on the state assessments in mathematics? In 2013, after all tests taken by the students in the Bay Shore Schools were evaluated, over 52% of the students were at or above proficient. So our data is 52% of the students were above proficient in the state assessment. But our reference is all of the students. The reference is all of the students, and that is the population. So this is a population characteristic. When you determine whether it's a sample statistic or a population characteristic, you have to ask yourself, what is the reference group? Was it the whole population or was it the sample group? If it was a sample group, it's a sample statistic. If it's the whole group, then it is a population characteristic. C. Does talking on mobile phones while driving distract people? Research measured the reaction times of 38 study participants as they talked on mobile phones and found that the average level of distraction from their driving rate was 2.25 out of 5. So there were study participants here so that is not a whole population. The reference is the study participants, a sample or a subset of all drivers of the population. This is a sample statistic. Question D. Did most people living in New York in 2010 have at least a high school education? Based on the data collected from the New York residents in 2010 by the United States Census Bureau, 84.6 of people living in New York had at least a high school education. So we want to know who is our reference group. Is our reference group the New York citizens or United States? Don't be misled and think that the U.S. is the population and that New York is the sample. The U.S. Census Bureau did the survey. That is the only reason the U.S. is mentioned. 
So the reference is all New York residents. The question asks about New York residents. And this is a population characteristic because the data was collected from all New York residents. Question E. Were there more deaths than births in the United States between July 2011 and July 2012? Our data from a health service agency indicated that there were 2% more deaths than births in the U.S. during this time frame. Since our data comes from the health service agency and not from every single person in the United States, this is a good question but debatable. The population is all the people in the United States, but the data from the health service agency would be from a sample. So the reference is a sample. If there were a national census, it would be a population. This is a sample statistic because the data comes from the health service agency, which is a sample. Question F. What is the fifth best-selling book in the United States? Based on the sales of books in the United States, the fifth best-selling book was Oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. So is our reference group here the United States or people in the United States? Did they ask everybody? The reference here is a population because they're referring to all of the books sold in the United States. So since the reference is a population, is this a population characteristic or a sample statistic? It is a population characteristic. Proceed to page 98. In this lesson, you have learned population, which is the entire set of the elements in the group of interest. A sample is a subset of the population. When data from a population are used to calculate numerical data, the value is called a population characteristic. When data from a sample are used to calculate a numerical summary, the value is called sample statistic. Some or sa sample statistics can be used to learn about population characteristics. Put that last statement in your notes. Sample statistics can be learned can be used to learn about population characteristics.